Hi, today we are going to learn the reference data type part 2 and which is the object type. Object type and object is a standable in utility in which property and the types and it is a lot of like an object in real life. For example, consider a girl and which is name is Emily and age is 22 and the eye color is brown and this is this is an example of the object and the girl and this her name is an eye color and her properties this means one subject every properties it is a object about it so this is basically object data type so i'm going to doing this the object data type in practically and then you will be get the understand betterly here so let's start this video right now okay now here you can save open a vs code store now i need to add a javascript file and which is object.js here in my js folder i'm just creating the file object.js now just hide this the left side window now connect that js file one of js folder of the header section of index.html file now we have connected now we're going to open this the brown index.html and live page and there you can see here now we have to just click in that inspection mode and this is your developer tools and open the console mode now just cancel all of this previous console start history now just back to our object.js file now we're going to take some there's a variable keyword that is let and then we're going to take in the object name which is short then equal and we're going to take in the curly braces and here we're going to type in the property of our object type of the short it is type i'm just going to make it and when we're going to using that object data type using for the array element using so here so you have to make it using that the quotation that for as a string text over there so i'm going to writing that string this type is j short and then separate using that chronoma and then the I'm going to writing here the color so it is also this quotation over there the string type so it is I'm going to writing the black okay now separate it now then okay I have made a mistake it will be a comma not a clone and then writing here so we are going to making the cost about it so it is I'm going to writing the price over there so let's add the forty dollars and then separate it using comma and then this is we have set it that object type now terminate this line over there and we're going to make him further showing that the object data type what is actually we have this in our object chart so we have going to get the console.log and inside of this console log function here this is the value of this object that and save this file now back to browser it was showing an error over there so now let's check it where okay here we can see one bug is showing so there is one so it is 40 dollars so dollar currency it will not have a level there so it must be a text or input the number well so you can see the object is available showing one there so now this is the object and so i'm going to show you that object type for the specific of it so let's select first of all so this is only the two ways available so let me make a comment over there so first way is object name dot the property name so this is the property you're going to select it that property name and the another way is this is also the same way like object name dot and sorry not dot it is a square bracket it will be the array element and inside of this you have to write in here the property name that it must be a string type so you have to write in inside of this here a string property name and this is the setup so this is two ways so i'm just going to do the practical for this first one which is the very easiest method using and it will be very easy to understand this second one is a little bit of complexity so you're going to using that first one so let's copy the console line over there and paste it after this the our object name and then dot the property name i'm going to using that color let's copy that color and save this file now back to browser you can see it was showing that block if we change that property name so let me showing here this is the cost and then save it and back to the browser and there you can see the price is displayed over here the 40 so this is the basic one this first one and i'm going to go into making that the other example you can make some more understanding about there so there i'm just going to make in the take the variable let and here i'm going to writing my name over there and then equal so it is a capital s and equal then the curly braces and here i'm going to writing some of my information over there it is i'm going to writing the s and then secondary i'm just going to school okay, not a school it is university because i read in a study in university over there the university name so it will be must be a text type so it must be a string type over there so you have to make that the quotation over there okay the single quotation over there and inside of it you have to writing that university name so here is my university name about it and then separate it using comma over there then we're going to writing for here this subject 
the not subject is semester i'm going to write in here so it is third semester it's also wasting time now then separate it over there and just here writing the subject and let's take the subject over there now writing this subject also will be distinct type but it will be the array element because i'm going to write in here some multiple property over there inside of this array element the is square bracket the subject it will be the distinct type in the quotation over there the double quotation over there and then typing physics math and then another one i'm typing here this ICT, and then typing here this another subject which is english so i'll write it over there and then terminate this you have to terminate over there and this is the variable so you can see how actually the object we have already displayed so i'm not going to show you over there my object details information so let me copy that and this is i'm going to directly show the subject which is math so now back to here the console.log and which is our sub object name so first of all let's copy the object and then we're going to write in here the dot and then we need to take that our property name which is subject and we're going to take him for the math variable so which is or the array element which is 0 1 counting started the math is 1 so we're going to provide in here the 1 and let's provide that 1 over here and save this file and now back to our console it was showing an error okay now let's check for the error over there okay here it is you can see object file it was showing one bug so this is the line and there you can see the red symbol one there so this is mistakes we have instead of the putting double clone so you have write it here the equal so let me make it the clone and now save this file now you can see the bug is already fixed now just back to the browser and there you can see that our subject it was showing the math and this is subject showing so if we are going to change the some value over there so it will be changed definitely so here i'm going to put in for the zero and which is the physics subject now save it now just back to the browser you can see here this subject is showing one here the physics so this is basically how you can do for this your object type and you can do some basic types so and you can also register the ones internet about there so you can get some more practical details about the object so this is i'm showing you that basic system that which is actually that object type how it's work and how we can show the object the selected property and whatever you like so if you're interested to getting more tutorials just like this so you have to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial from us and thanks for watching this video